What's up guys? Welcome to the Better Man Project. Today, we're going to be talking about the 8 ways to make yourself more attractive to women. And I'm not going to be talking about pickup lines or how to convince a girl to like you. I'm going to be talking about subtle ways that make you more attractive as a man. So, let's just get started. Number 1, be interesting. Focus on your own life. See, this is the foundation of any real attraction. You can go online and learn all kinds of pickup lines, but there's nothing really there after that. You can't really keep a girl around for a long time with just pickup lines. It's like going to the Christmas tree and picking up the coolest looking present box and opening it up and finding nothing inside. So building a life that you have fun with, that you enjoy and you do things that are cool and interesting and you're passionate about and you do those things not to impress anybody but you do them because you want to that makes a girl excited to be part of your life number two be genuine so let's say that a girl likes baseball and you pretend you like baseball even though you don't just to build some common ground do not ever ever do this if she likes the Yankees and you like the Cubs, don't pretend you like the Yankees. It's much more powerful to genuinely disagree with someone than to insincerely agree with them. Girls are really good at telling whether you're being genuine or not. If they feel that like you're not being genuine, they won't feel like they can trust you. And as an added bonus, disagreeing with someone in a good manner can create what is called breaking rapport, which I'll explain in a future video, but just know that this is very attractive. Number three, take care of yourself. So this is where first impressions and the halo effect come into play. So for example, let's say that you meet a person for the first time and they look like they don't really take care of themselves. They have hair all tangled up. They don't smell very good. You've never met them before, so in your head, that's how they are. Even though they might not be that way, that's what we see because we have no previous information about them. You know what they say, don't judge the book by its cover, but that is exactly what we do. So there are many, many things you can do to take care of your physical image. And I might go in more detail in a future video, but I'll tell you the core three things you need to do to start taking care of your physical image. One go to the gym. You don't have to be a bodybuilder, but keeping your body in shape is always a good idea. 2. Grooming. Get a haircut, shave, brush your teeth, shower, be clean. Girls really appreciate that. 3. Smell good. One of the biggest turnoffs for a girl is a bad smell. You can have the best looking guy around, but if he smells bad, it's done. It's over. Turn off. So you don't have to go crazy with it. Just being clean, using deodorant and some body spray will do. But of course, a little bit of cologne wouldn't hurt. Just don't overdo it. Side note, and this is very important. Whenever you take care of yourself, do it because you want to. Do it because it makes you feel good. If you go to the gym, do it because you want to take your body to the next level. If you groom, do it because it makes you feel good. Don't do it just to get someone to like you. Number four, have standards. I consider this to be a higher level of attraction creation because having standards and actually deciding what you want in a girl makes you the chooser, not the one to be chosen. It puts you in a dominant position and makes you seem like a man that really knows what he wants and girls consider to be that very attractive. Plus, Having standards means that you wouldn't just go with any girl. So girls kind of have to prove that they're worth your time a little. Number five, stop trying to hit on women. Just make friends with them. Okay, let me tell you a secret about women. Women put their guards up when they feel that a guy is trying to hit on them. The reason is that when a guy hits on a girl, she feels that the guy wants something from her. She feels that the guy has an end goal and that he doesn't really care about her. So she closes up and doesn't really respond well. Let me give you an example just to understand this better. Let's say that you have a girlfriend and you're in a restaurant and you go to the bathroom and when you come back, 
there's a guy trying to hit on her. Now, he's trying to be all seductive and stuff, and your girl's aware that there's a guy trying to hit on her. How worried would you be? Not very much. I mean, unless your girl's enjoying it and actually responding to it, you wouldn't really be worried. Because this guy doesn't really have a chance. But, let's say that when you come back, she's in a deep conversation with this guy. Now you're more concerned. That's why it's more powerful to be friends with a girl first instead of just trying to hit on her. In the first scenario, the girl probably thinks this guy is super annoying and obnoxious. In the second scenario, she probably thinks he's a super cool guy. This is why having standards and being choosy a little bit is so important. Because when you're looking for something more than just a pretty face, they won't feel like you need anything from them. And they sense that and they won't feel the need to raise the guards up or close up to you. Because you won't be interested on her until you get to know her better. Number six, become pre-selected. There was a psychological study where they showed a woman a picture of a guy standing in the middle of a crowd. And they were asked to rate him on attractiveness. A second group of girls were shown the exact same picture, but one detail was changed. The guy in the second picture had a girl looking and smiling at him. They were also asked to rate him on attractiveness. And guess what happened? The second group rated the guy much higher than the previous group just because they saw another woman looking and smiling at him. See, this is like the cheat code when it comes to attraction. Pre-selection is when a woman becomes attracted to you just because you seem attractive to other women. So basically hanging out with other girls automatically makes you more attractive to other women than if you were on your own or with other male friends. See, this is another really good reason why making friends with a woman is a huge benefit. Number seven, don't be afraid to establish physical contact. Physical touch done in the right way releases oxytocin, which is a hormone associated with bonding and love. So when you establish physical connection, you can start creating those same emotions on a woman. And in order for this to really be effective, your touch needs to be relaxed and comfortable. Warning, do not try to do this in a sexual way. There's many ways that you can start out with this, but if you're not super comfortable with it yet, here are a few things that you can do. You can create a secret handshake that only you two know. You can high five or play fight, thumb wrestle, get used to having a light touch on the shoulder whenever you need to get her attention, or even leading her by the waist whenever you need to move her around. The idea is for both of you to become comfortable enough to have simple touches like these become normal. Also, and this is important, if at any point she doesn't feel comfortable with you touching her, stop touching her. Number eight, have fun. Whenever you're out there socializing, meeting girls and other people, don't forget to have fun, okay? If you stress out trying to impress women all night, it's not gonna be fun for you. And the girls will notice. So don't take yourself too seriously. Have fun, make him laugh, enjoy yourself. You will naturally create a vibe that is fun and flirty, and that is naturally attractive. Women find that very irresistible. 